Good morning and uh, welcome to the last day of the summit, I should say, but there's stuff going on all the way through the, uh, through the weekend. Uh, I'm here just to kick these things off, provide like an overview of the momentum that Sonic has. Uh, Sunny will be moderating and kind of walking us through this. The most important thing about this summit is the fact that we have some excellent presentations that are being recorded. And that's where we are expecting hundreds and thousands of views. That's kind of the, the goal of this, obviously. And then, of course, a closed interaction with the team here. So uh, I'm Arpit Joshpur. I head up the Sonic Sub Foundation from a Linux Foundation perspective, along with uh, all of the other networking projects, LF Networking, LF Edge, et cetera, et cetera. Um, how many of you were in the keynote day one? couple of you okay so let me just spend a minute on this slide because it always sets a tone on uh, you know our position in like the galaxy for lack of a better word right um, we think sonic is the most important yes it is if you look at the rest of the ecosystem it needs to fit in an end-to-end -end solution and so if someone is trying to build an open source solution from end to end telco cloud or enterprise and they want to build with networking blocks of open source projects, here are a few sample examples, right? Come in from the connectivity side, whether you come in through RAN, uh, 3GPP access, or RAN software community is hosted by us, or you come in through alternative connectivities like 60 gigahertz and, and fixed wireless access, et cetera. We have you know, projects under LF connectivity that we host, or GPON, which LF broadband doesn't matter how you come in. You come in and access the network. Um, obviously, from an enterprise perspective, it could be fiber, ethernet, whatever, T1, like private lines, private networks. And then we have a whole foundation, sub-foundation called LF Edge, which uh, the goal is very simple. It's to unify frameworks across the four markets that define edge computing. So it's the telecom edge, IoT edge, Enterprise Edge and telc um, and uh, Cloud Edge, right? Like the four, they all have a view of how to address this, and we are here to harmonize and, and unify these frameworks. Um, there is an Edge Summit going on at the same time, so I don't think you can attend both. I will have to, but we'll see. Um, and then, of course, the bulk of the open source action essentially disaggregation started off in the core and the cloud networks, which is on the right-hand side. And you can see, you know, anything from the data plane to the NOSes to uh, control plane, data plane acceleration, all the way up to automation, orchestration, and eventually workloads. Uh, they all kind of are part of the end-to-end -end solution. Now, not all projects are used for everything, but we have what is called 5G super blueprints or blueprints that define how to implement use cases across. Um, while we are here, if I kind of look at the data plane here, the, so there's, we had about seven or eight NOSes um, five years ago. I mean, I, when I was at Dell, I was one of the first creators of the open networking term and a disaggregated NOS at that time. Um, and we had a whole bunch of ideas on how to do it. And now there are two, okay? So all the other NOSes, right, which were customized for telecommunications, for example, day NOS or, you know, you name it, uh, they're all kind of archived. There's only two left, which is the good news. There's Sonic, which takes care of the hyperscale data centers moving into enterprise. And then there's Dent, which takes care of remote distribution, sort of the uh, enterprises that are sitting there in terms of stores and, and point of sale type uh, applications. Um, and then moving into sort of maybe enterprises at the low end, right? So that's kind of how it covers. There are two, two startups that have NOSes, and then that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> okay, so that's the good news because we're starting to harmonize this and, and I always believe that Sonic has hit what 
in the valley I call you know project market fit. You know, in startup world we call it product market fit. Here I call it project market fit, which means there is a need, there is the capability, and there is an ecosystem that pulls this forward. Okay, so so very exciting times on Sonic, uh, and you can see that from the number of members and the number of uh, uh, loads and the software and the deployment and the distributions that, that come out. Uh, so we announced this uh, in April as part of the One Summit in, in Silicon Valley. Um, and it's a robust ecosystem. Right? One of the biggest things of open source is you want to make sure that the community is there. And, and, and I can safely say it is there. And you know, it's growing. Okay. All right. I think most of you know who the the, the premier members are, and I think um, this is the board as well, uh, the governing board, chaired by Dave Maltz from Microsoft. Um, and again, the board focuses on more of the longer-term strategy, uh, budgets, where to invest, where to go, right, things like that. The technical direction of the project is done by the TSC, uh, which is kind of operating independently. Uh, but with alignment on you know what the right things are to do, and then a whole bunch of some of you are already here, so I, I won't go through that. Uh, I think the the thing that excites me the most is in just one year things have significantly increased, whether it's impressions on social media, followers, uh, the interest from the media and analysts, right, which we feel like. I'm there at least a couple of times a month when people ask, what's going on with Sonic? Where are things heading? What happens if this happens, right? Like, what are the use cases? Where is it deployed? Et cetera, et cetera. So it's really, um, it's really exciting to see that a lot of these press and analysts are also supporting it. Uh, in fact, now some of the analysts, like, uh, was it Delaro? Uh, uh, tracking the size, right? Deloro is tracking the actual size. That is very rare for an analyst to do market sizing on a NAS, okay? Uh, normally they do it on hardware and ports and NICs and, you know, physical things. So again, all, all good stuff. Uh, we also saw, for those of you who have not seen the, it is on YouTube now under, I think, One Summit or LF Networking. Uh, one of Walmart's senior executives actually presented a use case of how they have deployed it at scale. Um, and he was very excited about it, right? So, so and, and, and um, you know, they, they, they will, again, they come back, they contribute. Walmart is a platinum member on LF Networking, which is our sister project there. Uh, so again, lots of, lots of big deployments other than Microsoft that's happening. Okay. Um, I think the, the, the board had a strategy for uh, regionalizing the meetups and, and getting a local developer community growing. So I think last year we had a lot of, and even this year we had a lot of meetups, pretty much sold out and, and overbooked, especially the one in uh, India, um, which had a limitation of, I think, 200 or whatever, and, and we, we exceeded that. Uh, there was workshop in, in Japan, um, and then we are going to be uh, a big time present at the uh, OCP this, uh, this fall as well, in a month. Yeah? I think the strategy still stays the same. We will try and meet and meet regionally, locally, so that people don't have to travel, but we'll always have a couple of big events. Okay? So I think that's pretty much it, right? Um, but if you, if there are any questions, I'm around. I have to just ping pong between a couple of mini summits. But uh, um, again, for those of you who are already members and contributing, thank you. For those of you who are not, take a look at it. It'll be exciting times. But I think we have some excellent presenters today. So they're the ones running it, not me, right? So uh, I'll, I'll have uh, Sunny take it back and explain. Okay, thank you. All right. Great. 
Thank you, Arpit. And uh, like Arpit said, we have witnessed tremendous growth of within the Southern community and NOS community in the past year, which is why we host events like this for us to uh, not only share uh, the knowledge to be learned and to, to also to showcase the, the work that we have done in the com Southern community. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce our first presenter today, uh, Alex from Large um, Network, who will present. Sonic continuous integrations and testing on 150 hardware SKUs.